What is going on everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone and this is your weekly gear news update. We have some really cool stuff today and at the end of this video I'm going to tell you another cool thing that I think is going to happen later today if you're watching this on the day January 11th 2023 related to the news today. It's going to be pretty cool. So uh, let's get into it. Do me a favor if you like guitar stuff at all. I'll give you a second. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Okay, thank you for doing so. And uh, let's get into the news. First, Grammy winning recording artist Her uh, has come out with a second signature model with Fender. Uh, she says it's inspired by going fishing with her dad, so it's blue. It looks like it's got the aluminum pick guard and back cover plate and stuff from some of the other models that we've seen earlier this year that you might be thinking of, looks a little familiar, but it's also a maple fretboard, maple neck, 21 fret, nine and a half inch radius, uh, really cool looking guitar, matching peg head. I think it's gonna be like 1349, which is pretty cool. The only thing about it is there's only 300 of them worldwide. Uh, so that is pretty interesting. She said, I designed my limited edition Stratocaster guitar with a color, shape, and sound that is 100% my own so that young women and players from all backgrounds feel inspired to pick up this guitar, tap into their thoughts, and create amazing music, which is really cool. She's the, um, I think, yes, she is the first black female artist in the company's roster of signature guitars. So that's pretty cool. She's got her second one. Uh, hopefully you can go get one. If you want, you can find one because there's only 300 of them worldwide. Okay, spoiler alert, the rest of the news today is about PRS. They just dropped a bunch of stuff. Some of it you knew about, some of it just came out. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. So first of all, let's talk about the Sunzero 20. This, gu this guitar amp uh, came out a few years ago. I want to say in 2020, something like that at a NAMM show, but this is an updated version of it. It's basically, um, they won't say it this way, but I think it's kind of Fender Twin inspired, except that, it's a 20 watt, except that uh, it has two channels. However, they're basically the same circuit-ish with more gain stages on the gain channel with separate tone controls. So they're saying this is a good pedal platform amp. That's interesting at a 20 watt situation to see how clean it can get and how loud it can get. I'd be interested to play this amp. Um, it doesn't appear to have any like USB or any of that kind of modern-y stuff, but it does have an effects loop. So I think this thing will be pretty cool and it's a thousand bucks. So for a tube amp, it says it has 6L6 tubes in it, or 5881s, depending, probably depending on what they can get. Um, so there you go, uh, 999 bucks. That's a pretty good deal, actually, for a tube amp in 2023, especially if you want a twin with some options. The PRS S2 line has been around for 10 years. These guitars are made in Stevensville, Maryland. However, they have always been a little more basic, more or less, than the fancy PRSs, right? So dot inlays, uh, S pickups, which is the SE foreign version of their American pickups. But in honor of their 10th anniversary, PRS has come out with two limited edition uh, six strings. So the S2 Custom 24, and the S2 McCarty 594. Now these are interesting because they have a couple of different uh, aspects to them. First of all, they've got bird inlays where, I, like I, we said, most of the S2s have dots or simpler uh, kind of inlays. They also have a Cuban mahogany neck, which I've never heard of. Um, that's an interesting, I've never, I've, I've, well, I've just never heard of it, so I don't know what it is, what the actual species of the wood is, but that's pretty cool. Cuban mahogany neck. And probably the most importantly of these things, uh, 8515 and 5815 LT pickups that are actual PRS pickups. These are not the S-line pickups. So these are the actual PRS pickups that are kinda, gonna come in these things. And it says, 
that they are going to be available in Lake Blue, Fire Red Burst, uh, Bonnie Pink Cherry Burst, Faded Gray Black, and only a thousand of each models will be made in total. So this is another one where you're going to have to jump on this to try to get it, kind of like that her strat we just talked about earlier, sort of limited stuff. Uh, other than that, these are basically the same, but again, upgraded pickups, probably the biggest thing, and then that different species of neck. Now, let's get into the PRSs that dropped this week that I think most of us are pretty stoked to hear about. A couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago or so, we had in the news the fact that the DGT was going to come out in an SE. So the David Grissom, David Grissom Tremolo, that's what DGT stands for, uh, is coming out, was coming out. I think it dropped on the 10th, which would be yesterday as of making this video. Um, it's an SE version, and it's pretty cool. It's a mahogany back, maple top. Uh, it's available in two finishes. You've got the natural finish with a veneer, figured veneer top on it, and then you've got the gold top version. Uh, the gold top version is interesting because it's a maple cap steel, painted gold top, but then it's got like a reveal binding around the outside of it. So that's pretty cool. So you can still see the maple kind of underneath the gold, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got a three piece laminated neck that's probably super, super stiff. I would imagine, and really, really stable. Uh, it has pickups in it. These are the custom engineered DGT pickups that are the S version of them. Uh, so these, again, this is an SE guitar coming from uh, Cortec in Indonesia. So it's gonna have, with the corresponding pickup plant that they use over there in Indonesia, so they're, all that stuff is coming from there, uh, but, the thing is, this guitar is a lot more affordable than the original DGT. I think this thing's going to come somewhere in the 849 range for the gold top and 899 for the fancy wood top. Uh, the gold top's going to have the moon inlays. The wood top's going to have the regular bird inlays on the neck. Uh, of course, it's normal PRS stuff. 25-inch uh, mahogany neck, 22 frets, 10-inch radius fretboard, normal PRS stuff. Uh, it will have a volume volume tone. The volumes are backwards, so the neck one is forward and the bridge one is, no, the bridge one is forward and the neck one is backward, then a tone and a coil split, and it's got volume mods on it, and it's got the whole thing. It's got all of the PRS stuff that you would come to know and love, but made in Indonesia by Cortec for $849 and $899. It's a pretty smoking deal. I think this guitar is going to be uh, a major hit. I think it's gonna be a major hit because it's gold top looking for not gold top money in any brand. Pretty cool. What you may not have heard about until now uh, is the 594. So the McCarty SE 594. So uh, the same kind of treatment here. So we've got the regular McCarty is not cheap. So we've got the McCarty, which has like a stop bar tailpiece sort of thing. Uh, humbuckers, uh, these, have the same, these are the S line versions of the 5815 humbuckers, like the core uh, 594. And then we've got volume tone, volume tone, push pull for coil splitting. They say coil tapping in the press release, but we know it's not. And uh, anyway, really cool. I think this guitar is gonna be pretty cool. It's also, it's 949 bucks. It's also available in a single cut version so you got the double cut mccarty and you've got the single cut mccarty these are also mahogany bodies with maple tops and then there's also a mccarty 594 single cut standard which is going to be 100 mahogany without a maple cap but basically the same guitar uh, maybe different knobs looks a little kind of a little more basic looking still still nice looking if you're into that natural mahogany stuff but it's going to be $829, but it's going to basically be the same guitar without a maple cap, just 100% mahogany. So, a bunch, a bunch of new PRS stuff. I'm really stoked to see some of this stuff. Um, any of these SE line guitars lately have been super, super good. And so I'm excited to see them. 
Now, I got an email. Yesterday? Maybe yesterday. Yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. That said, from PRS, that said, there is a guitar in the mail. Here's the tracking number. Uh, you'll receive it on Wednesday, which is today. I don't know what guitar is in that box. I could have asked. I think it's one of these. I think it's either the McCarty uh, standard, the McCarty regular, or the McCarty double cut, uh, single cut, or the SEDGT. I think it's one of those four guitars. I'm not sure. I don't know what it is. I could have asked, but I figured it would be more fun <laughs> to have a bit of a surprise. What we've been doing lately on this channel, if you're new to the channel, is every time we get gear to review, I unbox it and test it for the first time live. It keeps everybody honest and it shows us what the guitar actually looks like when it comes out of the box, how good it is, if there's any issues, anything like that. It's not a full review, but at least you get a playthrough, you get to hear and you get to understand what the thing looks like when it comes straight out of the box and what it comes with. And it also, as me, as a reviewer, it keeps me honest too, because if it comes out of the box damaged or whatever, we know that stuff right away. So I kind of like to do that. So uh, this is the 11th of January. It is Wednesday. If you're seeing this video later, this has already happened. You'll be able to look for it on the channel. But if you're watching it today, uh, I'm hoping to get this guitar in the FedEx today, probably sometime around 3 p.m. Eastern time. And then later in the afternoon, we will do a live unboxing together. I will not open it until I'm with you on camera. So I'm really excited about that because this is the first time PRS has ever sent me a guitar. So I'm, I think it's kind of neat. So I'm kind of excited about it. So I want to share that with you. And since I don't know which one it is, I figured the surprise would be fun. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button, turn the notification bell on because then like 30 minutes before I go live, you'll, you'll get that notification so you don't miss it. And then um, a couple other things I wanna tell you about. One is we got our, the first section of our complete guitar course series. Uh, just hit the light. Um, out. So you can go to the link in the description below. I'll leave it with the timestamps of all this other stuff uh, so that you can check it out. Basically, the first module is how to set neck relief. And it, it's not a thing where you have to get a monthly membership or any of that kind of stuff. You can actually just go, you can purchase it, it's yours forever, and then you have that content. And then we'll shortly, in the future, very shortly, we will be coming out with uh, how to adjust your nut, how to adjust string height, how to adjust intonation, helping you through an entire guitar setup so that you can be your own guitar tech. So the first module of that, the neck relief portion, is already out and it's down there uh, in the links and you'll see alongside it our soldering course as well. That came uh, out a few months ago, but it's there as well and you can check that one out also. Um, the other thing is we got some new merch on the website. Uh, so if you wanna support Dylan Talks Tone directly, I'll leave a link to that stuff as well. If not, just check out the links below and check out these guitars. I think you're gonna dig this stuff and we will see you later today when we unbox a surprise PRS.